how far out gauge will mount to just about any premium level out there. Let's do the basic installation. First thing you're going to want to do is make the gauge read exactly zero. You're going to have to extend the screw just a little bit. That's part of the design. Next, you want to peel off the liner from the tape. Now, with your level on a flat surface like this table, doesn't have to be level, and the bottom of the screw touching the same surface, just squash the two together real carefully, like this. Apply some good pressure, and the installation is done. Wait 24 hours and that VHB tape will be like it's welded on. Now if you want to use your level right away, I'll show you that all you would have to do immediately is remove the magnetic gauge itself and you'll see those two little holes in there. We provide these self tappers and you're just going to use those self tappers to hold it as a clamp for 24 hours. I like to drill at 564 just to make it easier to run the screw in. You probably don't have to. That's the basic installation and there's really only two requirements. Your level body has to be at least two and three eighths tall, and most all of them are. That's the exact height of a Stabila. And the end of the end cap needs to be pretty flat. Let me show you an alternate mount that I like to use on my Stabila 196 and 96. That's the first level I designed this for. Now here you can see that on Stabila you can make the basic mount just like I did a moment ago. This is great if you've got a mix of levels and level brands. If you want to use this on your Stabila, your Fat Max, your Irwin, whatever. You can use the magnetic quick coupler. Everything's the same. But there's a hack for Stabila 96 in effect. Think about it. The removable end cap itself can take the place of our magnetic quick coupler. And you don't need to get extra ones if all the levels in your toolbox are Stabila 96, 196, or IP65. So what you do is you take the gauge, the basic gauge, and you're just going to remove the uh, magnetic half of the quick coupler right here. So you'll just take that out, you'll set this aside, and now you're going to drill a couple holes through one of your 96 end caps, and you're going to mount the gauge body directly to the Stabila 96 end cap with no magnetic coupler. It's real solid and sometimes, for example, if you're using your 78 inch level to do the finished openings of doors, size matters and you can sneak into an opening that's got a lot of floor build up because it's an older building, something like that. So we got two possible mounts for 96. This stripped down one and of course you can use the universal mount just like all the other applications. Now, I want to make you aware of one possible tweak you might have to make. I'm finding on Fat Max and certain other brands, once in a while, the end of the end cap isn't exactly flat and it can cause the tape to have a little trouble because there's not a good surface for it to bond to. It's a simple two second fix. I just set it like this on my disc grinder or else on my uh, miter saw set at 90 and just just touch the end of hair. You'll end up with just a nice flat surface and you make the standard mount after that. Now two models where that comes in handy are Stabila 96 new style end cap. You see it's got these little bosses top and bottom. Again, with this uh, end cap attached to the level, perform the same little flattening operation. You'll end up with this good surface. You're good to go. Same deal with R-Beam. When you really look at it, you'll see R-Beam's got little bosses and it's also not flat across here. Touch it up, it takes literally a second and everything's perfect. You can make the standard install on an R-Beam. Just a point of historic interest. We can even mount the how far out gauge to your grandpa's American brass bound and it works just fine. You can see that tape grabs instantly. I thought it was coming off. Okay, those are the mount ways of installing. It takes you a grand total of 10 seconds. Please call FastCap if you got any questions beyond this. Thanks.